Okay, I got a surprise. I'm walking through my uh, local neighborhood, and um, I met, uh, met a uh, neighbor of mine who I hadn't seen since the weather had broken. Uh, it's uh, you know, it's, it's almost mid-April, and yeah, and she was wondering. You know, she asked me as I was walking past on my way to the park to see if uh, some uh, wild edibles are popping up. And uh, she was curious about what it was. She had a little doggy with her, so she didn't want to really approach it because the little doggy's a little nervous, you know, how little dogs are. And um, come to find out, it seems like it's a little, little vole. And I'm going to let the little vole, I don't know if it's a baby or not, but there's a little vole right there, and I want to let it go. And I am actually made it to the park, and I just want to set it down uh in the wooded area where it can hide so no raptors or anything can get to it but it's such a cutie it's such a cutie i'm just like ah oh, i want to keep you little it's like maybe a field mouse or a vole but um yeah i'm just gonna set it down it's, it is it seemed to be quite comfortable there it is it seemed to be quite comfortable in my hand as i was walking because i still had a few blocks to make it hi little one how are you and what I reckon is, is this one made it into the house, or if it's a baby, I'm not quite sure what kind of animal it is. Uh, ears seem to be pretty small for a mouse. Um, but at any rate, um, I'm going to set it down and, and let it go. Um, and hopefully it survives and keeps on going. But most likely what happens is during the winter time, um, these are these critters make their way into your house and now that the weather has warmed up in my region and they venture outside and as I was walking past my neighbor's house she was like uh, uh it's good that you walk past what is this what is this brown thing over there and I went you know she allowed me up in her yard and I looked and I was like oh it's a cute little mouse or something little rodent little baby something odd and I, I picked it up, you know, it didn't bite me or anything. I wouldn't recommend for anybody just to do it, but, you know, I, I, I'm i just used to little critters. And uh, the poor thing, oh, it just wants a nice warm place to be, but I can't keep you, unfortunately. And you'd probably be better off outside right now, right now. But I'm going to put you in a place where no critters can get you. And, uh, you know, you can find your way. You might find your way back <laughs> to my neighbor's house is what you'll probably do. So... I'm gonna put you down here next to the tree, and then there's some underbrush. There you go, sweetie. There you go. No, you you want to stay in my you want to stay in my head. I know, but I can't keep. I can't. I can't. Oh, you. Yeah, you like my warm hand. Here, we'll we'll do this. We'll, we'll put you there. You, you there 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 you go. Yeah, look at you, cutie. There you go. Oh, you're such a cute one. Oh, look at you. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. All right, you'll find your way. Yeah, now you're washing yourself off from my sweaty hands because I did have to walk a few blocks. Um, but there you go. You'll find your way. Just don't make too much noise. Don't bring too much attention to yourself because we got a lot of raptors around my, where I live. All right, you'll find it. Yeah, nice underneath there. There you go. So, that was cool today. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Make me feel good.